Open title is trust God more than you trust in your desires. His sermon scripture is from Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verses 9 through 10, from the English Standard Version. Better is the sight of the eyes than the wandering of the appetite. This also is vanity and a striving after wind. Whatever has come to be has already been named, and it is known what man is, and that he is not to dispute with the one stronger than he. May God bless the doers and hearers of his word. Hello, everybody. All right, let me turn myself down so I don't hear myself. All right, so let's get to this sermon next. So uh, the title of today's lesson, the title of today's sermon is Just Look Around. Just I, I changed the title, Just Look Around. Another title was just Trust God More Than You Trust Your Desires. Um, and then let me share my screen. I want everybody to see a visual of where I'm trying to go at for this uh, sermon. Ah, never mind. All right, so... I want to ask everybody a question. What do you desire in this life? What are your desires? Some people desire more money. Some people desire fame. Some people desire all the men in the world. Some people desire all the women in the world. Some people, let's talk about preachers real quick. Some people desire a bigger church. Some people desire um, a bigger outreach to be more popular, right? Some people desire uh, degrees on top of degrees. So again, what are your desires in this life? So today's scripture verse, like uh, the person read today, is Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verse 9 through 10. And it says, enjoy what you have rather than what you don't have. Just dreaming about nice things is meaningless. It's like chasing the wind. Mm. So a lot of times our desires aren't in the right place. And matter of fact, some of our desires, if we're being honest, the majority of our desires are meaningless are pointless. They're filled with vanity. See, when uh, Solomon, who wrote the book of Ecclesiastes, when he wrote the book of Ecclesiastes, we know Solomon to be one of the wisest men to ever exist, actually to be the wisest man to ever exist, right? So a proverb is, is the book of Ecclesiastes is no different than the book of Proverbs. A proverb is a general statement made about life. It's an observation made about how life is, right? And so through those observations, we can apply them to our lives and be successful. That's what a proverb is. It's true wisdom. And this is what the book of Ecclesiastes 6, chapter 9 is saying. You know, we got to enjoy what's right in front of us. In another translation, the English Standard Version, Ecclesiastes 6, 9 reads this. It says, better is the sight of the eyes than the rendering of appetite. Better. So what's right in front of you is better. What you see right now is better. The job, the degrees that you do have is better. The, the, the uh, people you got around you to love is better. Right. We can find contentment, satisfaction, whatever we need. If we just look around, I was going to show you guys a photo of a guy uh, who who uh, wasn't looking around. All he was doing was focus on what he doesn't have, what's missing. And, you know, there's two types of people in life. You got people who have everything and then you got people who have nothing. Right. So people who have everything, the yacht, the mansions, the women, the fame, the money. They still have desires, too. They still have desires that they want, and they'll chase after. A wandering appetite. That's what we'll call it. And those wandering appetites, they're restless. They're endless. They're, they, they keep on. They're without season, right? Then the other side of the spectrum. So you got people who have everything. I'm going to throw Adam and Eve in there. They had everything. But what were they focused on? The one tree they couldn't eat from. And what happened when they ate from that one tree? You guys are looking at it. I don't got to say it. Right? And so the second group of people are who? People who don't who feel like they don't have anything. People who feel like they're, you know, they're not content with anything that they have. They feel like, you know, they, they really desire money. They really desire something, right? And so they're never satisfied. So one of the things I was going to say is, you know, the wandering of desires where we tend to indulge ourselves will only vex our spirits. And the wandering of our desires is not the way of satisfaction. And this is what Solomon came to the conclusion of, right? So we were not made to be continually wandering in our desires. And you will never find satisfaction occupying your mind with your desires, right? <laughs> 
So God has given all you, all, all of us, what we need right now to enjoy life right now in this moment. So we hear a lot of sayings in today's time period, you know, uh, the grass is greener on the other side, right? But the flip side of it is once you go to the other side, you figure out there's more grass to cut. It's harder to work. It's more to manage. And we hear another quote, everything that glistens isn't gold. Everything that glistens isn't gold. So like I said, you know, we, we can find contentment, joy, satisfaction, happiness, pleasure. We can find whatever we're looking for if we just look around at all the blessings that God has given us, right? Because a lot of us are living in answered prayers right now. So what answered prayers are you living out today right now that you aren't being grateful for? See, this Christian life is all about knowing, <laughs> knowing how good you got it, how blessed you are. So what are you being ungrateful for right now? I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson. That's it. <laughs>